welcome to my channel. I just wanted to go over uh, how I set up my A5 binder. I use this as, well I previously used this really as my budget binder for at home and I'm noticing now that I'm using it more for a lot, a lot more. Um, I just like the size in general and it just works well. Now on my Instagram, I have pictures of the Filofax nude and um, I switched out the covers because I made some dashboards and I thought they were really cute. So I switched it to um, the Kiki K. So, all right, let's, which I really like. Um, it's very sturdy. The leather is really nice. Uh, so. All right, let's get into it. So I don't do a lot of decorating. Um, I just have a few stickers here in the pocket. They're just the icon stickers that I use. Um, I have a couple of the, um, yeah, they're just icon stickers. Uh, so anyways, um, the, so the first dashboard here, um, I made all of my dashboards. This one is um, a picture from Holly Nichols. And I just put it on <clears throat> a piece of cardstock from Michaels and I laminated it. Um, so the first section I have are my daily inserts. These are from Dear Planner from Etsy. And they're really a good quality. I love the way they feel. They're just awesome. Um, so what I do is I usually just put the current day on top if I'm going to be using the dailies. Um, and this is what they look like. I don't think I did one for today, no. Um, then I have this little tab here that just says notes and I have some lined paper. Um, and I use this for, you know, I use it for lists, whatever that comes to my mind, I will just use that. So the first dashboard I have is, I bought these, um, these paper ooh, from Hobby Lobby. Um, and I just doubled it and I laminated it. And then here's a piece of vellum. So this insert here is from Plan Meets Paper. I just printed it and put it together with the weekly now. I wanna put it, I wanna keep it together like that so it's a daily habit tracker. The bottom is a cleaning schedule. The back has lined um, lines on it. So the second section is weekly plans and I have a week on one page. Again, these are really, they're really good quality inserts. The back has lines and again, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and to Sunday, priorities, to-do list, notes, it has everything that you need. And again, the back has lines, and I just highlight when I'm done with stuff, when I, if I feel like it. Um, then I also have, because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use, I also have a week on two pages. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it's pretty. I try to, I mean, I basically go to work and come home, cook dinner, clean, go to school on Thursdays. You know, I mean, it's... Mm -hmm. It's just not that much, but I write everything down on the type of person that I just, I, I like to write everything down. Um, all right, so we're in this week here. And I just have some blank ones. And then again, I have, I put these in the back. Um, so when I do need them for the other sheets, I will just pull it up front. You know, I'll just take it out and pull it out along with the weekly. So these are some blank ones. Then there's also, she had a week on two pages and <clears throat> I'm thinking about using this as my, um, a tracking for the gym. Right, what I did at the gym and how long and what I ate for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm thinking about doing that. I haven't started that yet. Here's just another um, scrapbook paper that I laminated. And then I made this cute little, um, what do you call this? A bookmark. 
and I just need some holes and slits to pop it out. The next section is um, the monthly. There's an Ollie clip. So these pages are from um, Peanuts Planner Co. And this is the year at a glance. I What I do is I highlight when I have vacation time, days off, birthdays, my kids' vacation time, anything like that. The second one is the same thing, but it's just a smaller month and it has lines here. <clears throat> so you can just write down what... I usually just highlight the day and then highlight the number. And, um, so we're going to be getting into the monthlies. Um, so the cover page, it, it has goals. Now this is for every month. It has the spot here to write your goals for the month. On the bottom it has notes. So you can use this however you want to. I... Because it's January, I decided to just put word, you know, word of the year is persistence. I put the definition and other words that mean the same thing and goals that I wanted to tackle this month. The backside starts the month. Um, so what I do is I, I write all my bills out and I highlight them in a highlighter all the same color, which is pink. The other colors are for like, uh, there's no work or birthdays, school. I don't use a lot of stickers. I only use the washi and the spots that where the month ended. And I don't use a lot of stickers. I just used kind of, what do they call them? The, the small ones. Um, the back side has a bill section. You can write your bills out. The bottom says monthly checklist. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna utilize this, but like I said, this is new. I might use it as, you know, I might just cover it up and put a sticker and use it as sinking my sinking funds and then my cash envelopes that I have. So I'm still deciding because the other paper in the back is how I track my finances and I'll show you that. So then basically it just goes to the next month this is February. I like to get them all set up. I didn't get them all set up. I just did like the first four months right now, but I will get them done. Um, I like to get them all set up for future planning. So if I do have to look forward, um, I can do that. I always uh, write down all of the days that I have off, like holidays and stuff like that. My kids, vacation time and so forth. And then again, the back has the bill, the monthly, and then a new month, and you would do the same thing. So these are the these are the um, the monthlies. Then I just have a piece of vellum, and then another dashboard, and then these dividers. This is where the sections start. So these dividers I bought from Kinley Doodles. I would have preferred. Now, I had to get two sets because if you can see, it's there's one, two, three, four, and I wanted them flushed. Like, I wanted them all together eight, but they don't make it like that. So I had to get two, um, two sets, but it works for now. Um, I might be getting the clear ones moving forward just because I don't have to match things up, but we'll see. So the first section is bills. And I write out all of my bills, bills to pay. The bill, the due date, the amount, and when it's paid. That was October, November. I left these in just for the video, December and then January. So these are bills to pay. These are from Planning with V off Etsy. Um, the next section is weekly pay. Now, let me explain something real quick to you. These inserts I got from Little Red Papers. These, when I got these, these were an A5. So these were a strictly an A5 size, which are bigger than the half size. These are all half size sheets. So these were bigger. That's why I have washi tape on them and I tried to cut them down and it just totally sucked. But I just don't like the A5 because they're just so much more bigger. They're bigger, and then they 
they cover up the, the tabs. All right, so that's why, if you're wondering why I have washi tape on them, that's why. So I track, it says monthly, but it's weekly. Um, I get paid weekly. So I pay my bills paycheck to paycheck. I don't live paycheck to paycheck. I pay my bills. I'm a paycheck to paycheck budgeter. I write down when I get paid, how much, and I write down the bills that are due within that week. So therefore, you would go to your bills, I write them in order, and I would say, okay, well, you know, for instance, I'm gonna go back real quick. I don't wanna take long, but um, let's just say I'm getting paid, well, I will, I'll get paid on the 12th, right? So I'm gonna get paid on the 12th, I'm gonna say, well, what bills are due what I get paid on the 12th, what bills are due until my next pay? Okay. The next pay, they're all the same. It's the same thing. Um, so I get paid on the 12th, what bills are due before the 19th? I really just have, I don't have any that week, which is awesome. I know there was one week, which is great, bad example. <laughs> so let's say I get paid on the 19th and I wanna pay the bills um, up until the following paycheck, which would be the 26th. I would look and I would write down all the bills. So I would write down all the bills that are due. Let's just say I went to the store after work and I went to Stop and Shop um, and I went shopping. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm moving the camera. And I went um, shopping and I did a few things on a Friday. I would write them out because those are, that's money that's going to be coming out. So I get paid. I write my bills that I'm going to be paying. I write down my expenses that I just spent. I also have accounts that, um, so basically I have direct, direct deposit. I have four accounts and it's like a sinking fund. So basically I have a household account. I have a hundred dollars that goes in there a week. I have my daughter's account, which is her car fund. And then I have my account, which is a fun account. I have $50 that goes in that. And then I have a, a debt account, which I just have $25. So I put those in those separate accounts and that's my budget. And that's how it works for me. Um, so these are just, I'm, I understand all this because like I get paid, I write down what's due, what bills are due, what expenses. I didn't even fill this out. Oh, I forgot to do that. But anyways, that's how I do that. This, so then I have this other little tab here that says debt repayment. So these, um, I paid off my New York and company card. So that's what I'm trying to do. That's my goal for this year is to pay off my credit cards. I have a lot of them and I need to get rid of them. So what I'm doing, so this one's paid. The next one we'll, I will tackle is Vicky Victoria's Secret. So what I do is I make all of my minimum payments, I pay my bills, I allocate my money, and I see what I have left and I will put money towards, um, in addition, I will put money towards the card. Oh, it's hot in here. Oh, I will put money towards um, the card that I'm paying off, okay? And then whatever else money is left, I will put that in my emergency fund or um, I leave it in my account. I just make sure that there's money everywhere that needs to be. The next section I have is spending. And this is a spending tracker. I took all the other ones out here. So basically, it's just pretty self-explanatory. Um, I track, um, here, I'll show you the ones that I had before. I had online purchases. And again, these were the A5 size, and I they were so big, I didn't like them, so I had to take them out. Um, so I track everything that I um, spend. I don't write any bills, I just write um, I just write expenses in stores, gas, food. I just don't put bills there because I already have that written down in another section. So I just track everything 
And then what I do is I highlight all of the online purchases. And then I add up at the end of the month how much I spent online. And I, normally it's Etsy. It's either Etsy or Amazon. And that's the most <laughs> spending that, um, those are the two places. So I, I like to add those up and then I keep track of those. Um, so the next section I have is savings. Oh, you know what? I never even updated this. I'm so sorry. This is this all needs to be updated, but that's okay. Um, so the first, I have the emergency fund. So I had $1,000 in my account, and then I had to take money out because my daughter's engine blew. So I had to use money from my account, which this is wrong. It's now like halfway up there. She also had money in her car fund. This is wrong too. I have this. There's more money in here. So I have to fix those. So I keep track of that. My emergency fund, how much I have. If I take money out, I write it down. If, you know, I add money, I put that as well. If, um, you know, for let's say her car fund, the same thing. I had to take money out. So I was, thank God I had this because things would have been a very hectic if, I didn't have money set aside for these emergencies. Um, this was unexpected and I had the money in accounts and I am now putting the money back. So the next section is um, fun account or mom's account. Um, and again, I just didn't update it. So yep, these are, my, these are separate accounts. And so every week, if let's say I don't go to the stores and I don't spend any money, I leave the money there. The following week, the money will accumulate. If I decide to say, well, you know what? I'm going to go blow this money and I want to buy a bunch of stickers. That is my choice because that's my fun money. This one is for household. I'm sorry. for It's a household account, but it's for food and gas. So same thing. I have $100 a week that goes into this account. And I budget that way. Um, otherwise you're going to go over, you don't know what you're spending and you don't know what you're buying. And this is going to take us to the next tab. This is just a, it's a savings tracker and I don't know what I'm saving for yet. I'm trying to think what I need. The next section is meals. And this is the part that I'm going to talk about. I have the money that is allocated to that account and that is what I am to spend. It's not to go over. And the way you make that work for yourself is you do an inventory on what you have in your house. You look at what you have and then you make a list of things that you can make and, um, and what you can buy. So for instance, oh, I also pop like, I put slits in these so it's easy to take out. Just make a list. So what I do is I First of all, I want to make sure who's going to be here. You know, is John working late? Uh, am I, uh, I go to school Thursday nights till seven. So when I get back, I'm not cooking. Um, so those situations, what I would do is uh, Wednesday, I would make enough food and I would have leftovers. So the night that I'm not cooking, that's what he's eating. Um, you don't always have to have meat every night and make big meals. You can make uh, grilled cheese with soup. Um, you can make uh, BLTs. You can make egg salad sandwiches. You know, there's lunch meat. There's a lot of other ideas that you can make that are simple. Um, tuna fish sandwiches, tuna melts, you know, taco stackers, tacos. There's just tons of things that you can make that's not that difficult. So I always look at what I have in my house and then I, well, I look at what I have in my house. I look at what I want to eat. What are, you know, what can I make with the stuff that I have in my house? So then I build some kind of meal plan together and I always stay within budget. But before I did this, I was horrible, absolutely horrible at shopping. I would go shopping and I would be picking, I would just pick, I would pick rent. Oh, I need orange juice. I need milk. I need eggs, bread. I would just pick snacks, all kinds of stuff. I would get home and I'm, I would be like, wow, I really don't even have anything to make for dinner. Like literally, I wouldn't even have meats. I mean, 
it was ridiculous. I was spending like $150 and come to find out I didn't have anything. So I, this is what works. I'm telling you, just try it. Um, I didn't mean to give a rant like that, but it just, it works so well if you just take the time to do it, you know? So the next section I have is lists and goals. And this is a goal tracker. And here's some daily tasks. I haven't used this. I really don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use it. I might use the other form. And these again are from Dear Planner. And then this is just a checklist with little boxes. And again, this is a running list that I have. So I just write, it's just a list. What I'm doing, what I need to do, what I need to buy, what I want. Um, I put some slits in it. I hate when that happens. So, so these are that. And then the next section I have are passwords. So I'm just gonna close that. The next section I have is homework. And I have some assignment um, pages that she created for me um, as I requested. And then I have a little pocket from, um, oh my God, what is it called? The Planner Society, I believe. It's one of the pockets. Um, I, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so, um, Oh great, I forgot, lost my train of thought. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I was gonna say, but that's how I do it. Um, so that's how I do it for now. It works for me. Um, I hope it made sense to you. If you have questions on like some of the things that I, I bought, um, please let me know. Um, I know a lot of it's duplication because I use this planner. This is supposed to be my home binder. And I noticed that I've been just using this, like I'll take it with me to work and at lunchtime, I'll go through it and start writing things out. I'll start looking at my bills and I'll go through it. Um, I use, the my first video that I did, I did a video and I was using the gray one. And then this is the chocolate one, the chocolate brown. And basically it's the same setup. I just transferred everything into this one. So it's just, it's the same thing. Um, and I use, I'll take, I just wanted to change the colors. So I take this, this is what I take with, normally I take this with me um, in my purse, but I've been taking this one. I guess it doesn't matter. So I just, I basically use these two. Um, and then I, I have my um, Foxy notebook that, I'm using as nostalgia and like a journal, just like journaling um, and trying to get more information on that and how that works. And I have a book here as well that is really, really interesting. And I suggest, I suggest you read it. Um, I've kept diaries. I've always kept planners all my life. You know, I was in, you know, middle school. I mean, I, I used to buy planners like everywhere and diaries, I don't know, but I just decided to really dig deep and just really just go and do the journaling. I, I'm i not sure if I'm gonna stay with this allergy. I'm not 100% in love with the size. I I wanna get uh, the moleskin one. It's a, there's a bigger size. My daughter is using that one, which is like a five by seven. I also ordered a cover for this from Hand Stitch Leather. That's beautiful, it looks beautiful, it's on its way. I'm kind of sad now because um, she has the moleskin, the big one, and it's already dated and it's just, it's bigger. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use it as memories, journaling, you know, we're gonna print out pictures from the, spro on our, on, from the sprocket and we're just, we're gonna do that together. Um, but anyways, also, I'm gonna do another video, but I'll just go over this real brief with you. In addition to the sinking funds that I do have, um, I keep a cash envelope um, system here. And that's one of the things that I didn't write down um, in here. I should have wrote these down and wrote down the balances, but I didn't. So I believe I have seven, no, I have eight. And I basically have holidays. So it's gonna be for like Christmas next year. I have a sticky on the back, the amount, Events is gonna be like prom, graduation, uh, stickies on the back. I just add money and I put it in. Travels, like vacation, vacation days and things like that. 
uh, gifts is birthdays. Auto is just another car. So like my daughter, I have, I have like car funds everywhere. Um, entertainment is just fun. Maybe go get something to eat and so forth. Home is things that I want to buy for the house. Um, and clothes. I have a clothes one. Um, oops. So I can go into a little bit more detail, but I just, I wanted to say that I also have um, a cash envelope s system that I use. And anytime that I, I don't go crazy. I'm not like I get paid and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to take $50 and put that away. I can do that. Um, but what I normally do is if I have cash on me, I use it. If John has cash, I take it and I put it in here. Um, that's, oh, you know what? I think I forgot to add 20 bucks. I added, tw I added $40 in here and I forgot to add it. What the heck? Yep. Oh no, I added it. Okay. So, um, um, so that, so I don't, I don't like go crazy. I just, if I have cash on me, cause which I normally don't. So if I have cash on me, I just, I take it and I put it in the next envelope. So for instance, um, you see how there's three here? Oh, there's three here. Okay, so then it would be, it would be the next row. So it's, it's gonna start here. This will be the third one. So it's not like I get the money, I'm like, ooh, where do I put it? I'll put it in this one. I just go down the row. Like, I'll put the next one here. If I have 10 bucks, I'll put the next one here, and so forth. Um, I got the envelopes from, um, oh, I just forgot her name, Elena at the money so i will have to link it down below if anyone is interested she sends the stickers and she sends the backing these were actually letter size so they were huge and i got the wrong one so i just cut them and i stick the money inside so yeah so like if i have any cash that's what i do i can go in more depth i mean it's not really a big deal but i do like to keep track of that as well so i mean it helps and by the time you know it, things are, you know, accumulating and you have extra money. It's just, it just definitely works. But all right, I talked enough. I can just keep going on and on. So I hope you guys enjoyed um, the video. And again, if you have any questions, please comment below. Let me know. I'd be more than happy to um, answer you. All right, bye.